Hi everyone, my name is Raziel Kane and I'm back with another RK's voice acting. Humans. In the Transformers franchise, they have a pattern. They stumble upon a robot by accident, or are potential collateral damage to one of Megatron's attack. Then Optimus decides it's a good idea to keep one to learn about Earth's culture. In G1, Spike and Sparkplug could have died at the attack of the oil rig. In Armada, Rad and Carlos awaken the Minicons, witness the arrival of giant robots on Earth, and teach the Autobots about fist bumping. In Transformers Animated, Sorry Samdak stumbles upon Bumblebee and Bulkhead, gets attacked, is subsequently rescued and becomes their friends, and also teaches them about her world. And in TF Prime, well, you get the idea. But the first human character to be born into the Transformers is Daniel Witwicky, even if we don't see it on screen. Because of Spike's job in Season 3, Daniel's been around Transformers since day one. Heck, I could theorize that Ratchet delivered baby Daniel and no one here could argue. Daniel is one of my favorite human characters, always has been. He was my connection to the show in Season 3. If he could go on adventures with giant robots, so could I. And I think his voice actor, David Mendenhall, made it possible for me to relate to Daniel because he did such a good job with his portrayal. Let me show you what I've found about David, as I try to do each time with my voice actor spotlights. Born June 13, 1971 in Oceanside, California, David's career began when he was 4 years old doing toy commercials for Mattel. He's been in over 150 ads on TV and radio and acted in cartoons, live action shows and movies. In the 80s and 90s, he guest starred in popular shows such as Different Stroke, Goodnight Beantown, The Twilight Zone, Magnum P.I., Divorce Court and Roseanne. He had the chance to play recurring characters in three shows, being Jason in three episodes of Taxi, portraying Mike Weber 66 time on ABC's General Hospital which got him a Soapy Award for Best Youth Actor in Daytime Continuing Drama, and on 14 episodes of the show Our House as J.R. Dutton. And he had a successful movie career starting with Space Raiders where he starred as Peter. You have seen him in Witchfire, They Still Call Me Bruce, Going Bananas, The Secret of the Ice Cave, and playing Psy opposite Christina Applegate's Dawn in Streets. But my favorite of all of his movies is Over the Top alongside Sylvester Stallone. It was one of my top movies when I was a kid. By the end of the 90s, David's face had been on the cover of every teen magazine. But what we cartoon fans remember him for is his voice. He was on many cartoon specials, series and feature films. You heard him as Terry on Puff and the Incredible Mr. Nobody, William in the Smurfs Christmas special, Chris on Rainbow Bright, and Joey Kangaroo in Kangaroo. He was canonly on the Cabbage Patch Kids first Christmas, and in the same year he starred as Daniel in the Transformers the movie. I love this movie, everyone does, and David got to be part of that. Hot Rod, look! There's a hole in the shuttle! It's so great we're still getting toys about it today, although his character's toys suffered an injustice. But he's one of the few actors whose character that were introduced in the movie wasn't recast for the show. Daniel still had adventures to have. Well, Dad, we were looking for the record of Ultra Magnus's creation. But it did cost him his leg in the end. My son, can you do anything for him? And he ended up in a human-robot relationship. Not bad. RC, I just want to say, RC, I, I... You don't have to, Daniel. I feel the same way too. David also played in Galtar and the Golden Lance as Zorn, voiced Brother Bear in the Berenstain Bear, was in the TV movie RoboForce The Revenge of Nazgar as Jason Fury, and did lots of additional voices for show including Punky Brewster, Centurions and Pound Puppies. Then in the late 90s David changed course for a while and reached for a higher education. In 1998 he graduated from the University of Southern California with a bachelor's degree in theater, cinema and television. Wanting to have his own production company, he proceeded to earn his Juris Doctor degree from Southwestern University School of Law in 2001. With those credentials, David launched himself again in the entertainment industry, but as an attorney for major studio law departments, including NBC and Universal Studios. He also had been writing when he was younger, so he spent time during the 2000s as a journalist for such publication as Indie Slate Magazine and The Daily Journal. But then in 2008, he jumped back in entertainment production and started acting again. He guest starred on the series My Own Worst Enemy as Paul Wallace, the short movie The Lone Wolf as Teddy as Thorkin, and Peter Glenn in A Gifted Man. And he also did some work on The Forgotten, Godless America, Chance, 
budding prospects, and beautiful boy. And something I did not know, he's a stage actor too, having appeared and being involved with many live productions. He's been a member of the Screen Actors Guild AFTRA for over 40 years as a professional actor and participate in their National Young Performers Committee, which advocates for protection on behalf of children who work in front of the camera. And that's a wrap on his career. This actor, who I honestly believe had faded away after the 90s, almost ended up on my last voice actor's medley. I was pleasantly surprised when I found out all he did since voicing one of the best human in the Transformers franchise. He's also been recently active in conventions, displaying humility, kindness and gratefulness to the fans. I hope you've enjoyed this brief overview of David Mendenhall's career. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I really like reading you guys. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!